Welcome back to the Hot to Best Daily Pick Show here for Tuesday, September 5th. That was some more MLB action here for today's show. A little bit of a different one, getting back into the swing of MLB here after a weekend of college football. But before we get into Tuesday's show, quickly looking back at some college football results, we're still waiting on Monday's game to finish up here. We have Duke plus 12 and a half. Currently, they lead Clemson 13 to 7 as of recording this. So hopefully we can hold on and get that one in. Overall, it was a decent week for college football. Didn't start out great. Um, obviously, we pre recorded those shows. So we'll just go over the results here um, from the last time we had a quote unquote live recording. Um, ended up losing both of those picks on Thursday night. Minus four units there. Really a bad way to start out week one. Doesn't get much better for us on Friday, losing 3.5 units. Really a, a terrible way to get going into the weekend there. But Saturday, we do turn things around. End up going 4-3 and three plus 3.47 units. Had a couple of big wins. That Houston money line was huge. Um, Buffalo covering against Wisconsin was also another big pickup for us. Obviously, the Colorado TCU under was nowhere close in that one. I was completely wrong on Deion Sanders and... I don't even want to touch Colorado at this point um, going the rest of the season. And then for Sunday's college football, we do end up going two and one. Unfortunately, we used to lose our biggest play of the day on San Jose State there. So only plus 0.34 units, but nonetheless, a profitable one there. Hopefully we can finish up with a profitable one um, here for Monday's card as well. Before we get into the show today, I did want to shout out the computer model picks here for the weekend. If we look over to these, these are all the games, money line spread total, where there is an edge, obviously, depending on how lines move, there isn't always an edge for the open, there isn't always an edge for the close, but the close was profitable, go 62 and 76 on the weekend, but plus 3.7 units, and we were even better on the opening line here, um, if it'll load 64 and 79 plus 20.05 units, so um, the computer model did great, our picks did better as the weekend went on, certainly, and if you haven't already checked out Dub Club, linked down below, make sure you go sign up before the NFL season gets started, um, only $19.99 for your first three months, but you got to sign up. Um, I said Thursday of week one here for the NFL, but I think we're going to go till Monday night football of week one. So if you sign up before then, use code Chris3 at checkout. You get your first three months for only $19.99. That includes my recommended unit size for all of my picks, access to the Discord channel, dub club notifications, early ad for YouTube videos. It's a great deal. If you haven't already signed up, go sign up so you get all the football action. And let's jump into Tuesday's MLB show. All right, let's see if I remember how to do this baseball thing. Starting off in Tampa Bay, we got the Red Sox taking on the Rays for the Red Sox. Come into this game as the 13th overall team in the hot tip power ranking. Tampa Bay, the second overall team. Batting-wise, Boston has been fairly strong up there with Tampa, eighth overall, while the Rays are fourth. Pitching-wise, the Red Sox have struggled a little bit more on the season 20th, while Tampa currently the number one overall team. But Cutter Crawford for the Red Sox gets to start in this one, and he's certainly been a strong pitcher this year. Obviously, Zach Eflin for the Rays uh, has been lights out as well. But both these guys, I mean, Crawford, a 4.08 ERA, 1.14 whip, um, you know, has had some strong performances here this season. Comes off of a game against the Astros where he did struggle a little bit, but only giving up a 34.9 hard hit percentage on the season in the top fourth of the league. In that, also 24 strikeout percentage for Cutter on the year. Um, really, as far as Boston pitchers go, Crawford is, you know, near the top, is about as good as it's going to get. For this Red Sox team, Eflin on the other side of things for the Rays has obviously been a really, really strong pitcher. 3.4 ERA, 1.02 whip himself. Um, a pretty strong hard hit percentage as well. 35.4%, 25.4 strikeout percentage as well. And it, the model does like the Rays um, here in this game. 5.41 projected runs while Boston 4.78. Um, good enough for a minus 128 favorite for the Rays coming into this one, which if we look at the opening line, wasn't much of an edge on either side. Um, but Boston has moved up a little here, um, getting a little bit more money, plus 141 currently at bet online, a 2.37% edge from the computer model. Not the biggest of edges, certainly, but I think these two pitches are much more even than really it just looks necessarily on paper. Obviously, Eflin and the Rays have been very, very strong this year, but with how well the Red Sox have swung the bat at set times this year, I think they're more than capable of staying in this game, and I think at plus 141, there is some decent value on this pick. So I'm taking the Red Sox plus 141 to get it done here against the Rays. And the next game we'll take a look at here on Tuesday is the Tigers taking on the Yankees for Detroit. Come into this game as the 25th overall team in the Hot Power Ranking. The Yankees are the 15th overall team. Both these teams have struggled a little bit batting-wise. In the bottom third of the league, the Yankees 21st overall. 
Um, the Tigers are 27th. Pitching wise, the Yankees have been better overall. Eighth overall coming into this game. The Tigers 22nd. Overall, the starters here in this game, Alex Fado gets the start for Detroit. Garrett Cole on the mound for the Yankees. And, you know, Fado is a guy who just keeps sticking out to me. He's not a great pitcher. A 2 and 5 record overall, 4.89 ERA, 1.07 whip is actually pretty decent. But what I really like about him, he doesn't give up a ton of hard hits. Only a 34.1 hard hit percentage, does a decent job striking guys out at 20.6%. And really, over the last two months or so of the season really through the month of august here into the month of september he has been a strong pitcher i mean comes into this game following a game against the white Sox where he didn't give up any runs granted didn't start that one um or only pitched one inning i'm not actually sure if he started or not i don't think he did um but in the month of august only gave up five runs over four starts so really a strong pitcher in fado there garrett cole on the other side of things for the yankees here in this one though is obviously a strong pitcher, a 2.95 ERA, 1.04 whip, a 12 and 4 record overall. Has struggled a bit more actually with the hard hits at 39.2%, but does a really good job striking guys out. 27.1 strikeout percentage for him. But the Yankees, wall are the favorite here from the computer model not huge only 4.22 projected runs for the yankees here in this game batting really bringing them down there detroit 3.87 good enough for detroit a plus 119 underdog here entering this game um, and when we look at the line plus 206 for detroit here in this one i think there's some really really strong value there hasn't moved from the open um, as of recording this but a 12.98 percent edge for fatal and the tigers here in this one really yeah, it's not going to be easy going into New York against this Yankees team, especially with Cole on the mound. But it's a Tigers team that has some potential when they get it all together. And at plus 206, um, I think they have a chance to win this game. And I think it's greater than that. So I'm taking the Tigers plus 206 here against the Yankees. And the final game we'll take a look at here on Tuesday is the Orioles taking on the Angels for the Orioles. Come into this game as the fifth overall team in the hot tip power ranking. The Angels are the 21st overall team. Batting wise, two fairly strong teams entering this one. Baltimore sixth overall. LA is 10th. Pitching wise, Baltimore though gets the strong advantage. Ninth overall entering this game while the Angels are 26th. On the mound in this one, Reed Detmers gets the start for the Angels. Dean Kramer on the mound for the Orioles. And, you know, for Dean Kramer, has had some struggles this season. A 4.2 ERA overall, 1.28 whip. Overall, has found ways to win games for this Orioles team, which is ultimately all that matters. A 12-5 and record overall, um, but certainly has struggled in areas. You know, giving up a 42.5 hard hit percentage on the season. Um, has had some strong performances here in his last two starts, though, giving up zero and one runs accordingly in those. Um, but just overall, a guy who has struggled at times to find, you know, that perfect formula when he is on the mound. And Reed Dabmers, on the other hand, um, has kind of been in the same boat while he did you know pitch an eight inning um no hitter against the rangers a few weeks ago overall a three and ten record on the season isn't great a 5.01 era isn't better and a 1.41 whip really rounds it all out um in a pitcher who is a little bit below average on the season he has also struggled with the hard hits a 43 hard hit percentage for him on the season really combine the bats of both these teams with the pitchers starting in this game the model really likes this one to be high scoring baltimore at 4.77 runs entering this one um los angeles at 4.9 good enough for 9.67 projected runs here um and we really have seen the total shoot up from the open opened at seven and a half currently at nine eight and a half depending what odds and you know what juice you want to lay on this one but at nine plus 100 um really is the, the current best over here entering this game and with a 6.86 percent edge at over nine runs here i think this is going to be a high scoring game with these two bats with these two teams pitching i'm taking the over nine runs here for orioles angels now that'll do it here for Tuesday's MLB show. If you want to see more sports betting action for everything going on this week, head over to hottipbest.com. Of course, we got college football action for week two coming up. The NFL stuff getting ready to go live here shortly. So make sure you take a look at that on the website. Of course, got MLB picks for all of the matchups this week. UFC, horse racing, everything up on the website. So go take a look at all of that. Also, follow the social links down below, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, to stay up to date with everything going on over there. If you're watching here on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And most importantly, drop a comment down below. Let me know who you guys are betting on here for Tuesday. And thanks for watching today's video. I will see you guys tomorrow.